Okay, hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to what is actually the first tutorial I'm ever dropping. That's crazy. And before we start, I want to apologize for my raspy voice and some throat clearing and some sniffing that's going to be like present in this video. I'm very sick. Uh, and I'm off the paracetamol right now. I'm tripping balls, dude. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how I make jazzy samples from scratch. You know, I mean, I'm not promising you that I'm leaking some sauce or anything like other videos, but you can pick up some things on here. You know, you could you could like learn something. I don't know. Anyways, what I did first was not even like try to lay down a melody or a chord progression. The first thing I did, as you can probably see right here, I added the brushes. And they sound like this. There's brushes. And I EQ'd them, took out some mids and some highs. Uh, another EQ, I don't know what I did there. And RC20, that is disabled. Can you hear me? There's no reason in particular why I added the brushes first, you know, but it just sets the mood for what you're about to create, you know, like lighting a candle before making love. Okay, so, you know, uh, okay, next thing I did was I added a piano and this is from a library called Noir on Contact. That's what I mean, and now you can just, like, I hear this and I'm so inspired, it's crazy. It sounds really smooth, I'm, I'm surprised with myself even, I don't, I don't know how I did that. And before one of you guys is like, oh bummer, I don't know how to play any keys. Well, I don't know either, you know, I clicked all of this shit in, and I don't know any music theory, so this could be like a... A major flat seventh sus eleven chord, and I wouldn't know, bro. I just it is what it is. And for processing on this, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. Sometimes just leaving shit how it is just sounds better, you know. Next up, I added the saxophone, and it sounds like this. You know, nothing too fancy, it just, it just helps the piano transition smoothly. You know, not overdoing it, not just letting the piano breathe, and yeah. And for the processing of the saxophone, the first thing I added was the King's microphone. And I put this on every brass and vocal woodwind track. It just sounds, it just puts all the instruments in a, in a space rather than sounding very bland. Like, listen to this. You know, like, it gives it some color. I can describe what it is. Next thing is a vintage verb and RC20 just to warm it up a bit, so. <clears throat> oh boy, I wonder what the next track is. Well, the next track is actually my real electric guitar and it sounds like this. I mean, bro, you can tell that I'm not very good at playing it. Like, you can hear the string resonating, and I didn't even bother recording another take, which says a lot about me. And for the processing, I used the Goaded Amplitube, which is, I mean, the best guitar plugin ever. Like, Guitar Rig doesn't have shit on this. This is what it sounds like dry. <clears> hmm. 
<clears throat> and once again, not overdoing it, just one simple phrase, letting the piano breathe, you know? The next thing I added was my vocals. And this is what it sounds like. Bro, I was humming so close to the mic. I was basically swallowing that shit. You know, I wanted something really simple, something that is memorable. Also, no lyrics. That's why I decided to hum it. So, and then I added another layer of vocal, and this time I pissed it up one octave. And this is what it sounds like. And again, you see this empty space. I decided to fill it up with the second vocal, you know, just to help it transition better. And you know, everything is about how you make the transitions, you know? If you make them smooth enough, and if you don't overdo them, then it's Gucci, you know? And the second vocal actually sounds very good with the guitar too, so take a listen. Mm -hmm. For the processing on the vocals, again, I added the King's microphone. Uh, and then a one to get rid of the room noise because my my room is very noisy a little altar boy Because I wanted it to sound kind of higher pitched than my normal voice a pitcher to like keep everything in tune and Since I, I got really close to the mic I wanted intimate vocals with the humming but also when you get really close to the mic what happens is you get a lot of bass, so you got to cut, cut it off, you know? And the last thing I did was add a fruity, not fruity, but Valhalla Vintage Verb. I mean, this shit just works. What, what is it to say? And yeah, that's pretty much it. The last thing I did was add a Reels plugin instance on the master to give it that vintage war warmth. Is that how you say warmth? <clears throat> Fuck. And that's pretty much it. The last thing I did was I added a Reels plugin. Just, you know, just to add that vintage warmth and, you know, cut some highs out, bring some wow in, and yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm.